Sports. It's in the game. This is the NFL on EA Sports as we welcome you to MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Buffalo... It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. They go play action here, Purdy. That's complete, it's Brandon Ayu. 
And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. He'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. Here's a second and eight. Purdy off the play fake. That's complete to the tight end rule. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It's not quite about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. On third down, here's Purdy. Flushed out right. A wild throw there, and it is intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. It's Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Second down, McCaffrey. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but when he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for it in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Here's third and a few inches. Purdy now to throw off the play action. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a Niners first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Play action. Now Purdy. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted.
EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Dallas Cowboys. To back Super Bowls in the 90s and they're together again. The Cowboys and Bills are underway. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. Takes it to about the 37. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. They go back to Pollard on second down. And yeah, he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. Now Prescott. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. On first down, Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Khalil Shakir from 21 yards away. And the Bills take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. It's Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And it's seven, nothing Buffalo. Makes the score Bill seven, Cowboys nothing. Tyler Bass, the kickoff for Buffalo. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is in his first throw of the game. But I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I noticed his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. On third down, it's Prescott. Got an open 
open man. It's Michael Gallup. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches. So they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass, a run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. And boy, that's going to be close. He didn't get much at all there. But he got the first. Looked like they might have held him defensively. But the referee signals it will be a first down. Running right, it's Pollard. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. To throw is Prescott. Out of his hands quickly to CeeDee Lamb. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll leave him with a third and two. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. That is caught, and he will have a Cowboys first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide it. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Gregory Rousseau works his way in for the stop and the loss. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. Here's Prescott. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Pick made by Terrell Bernard. Yeah, you need to start running the ball, bro. Not working. You need to find a new way. And then when you throw the pass, you throw interception. So after the INT, it's Allen. Incomplete. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. Here's second and ten. Now a give running right, it's Cook. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 41. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory though if they're stopped. He'll buy some time right. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of him. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And he's going to get this down near the 20 yard line. A gain of 19 yards. Allen now on first down. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Knox. Now a second and six. Now Allen again. Touchdown, Bills! Khalil Shakir with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills go up by two touchdowns. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Cavante Turpin now from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. At their own 21-yard line.
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Second down, Pollard again. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like he'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Pollard again. And yeah, they string that play out nicely. He stopped before he could turn up field. No gain, second down. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. Now a second and ten. Prescott now from the 50. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Looking to throw. Prescott. He'll find Lamb. It's complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 36. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. A first down throw for Prescott. Flush to his right. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Prescott now. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. The Cowboys are going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Third down at six. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. This ball nearly intercepted. A once in a season chance for the big fella, but he couldn't corral it. Fourth down straight ahead. Dak and the offense still out there. They are going to go for it. Now Prescott on fourth down. Now he's got it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Prescott, touchdown, Jake Ferguson as the first half is winding down and the Cowboys are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Oh, they go to the BLT and that'll make our score 15 to 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And with a 14-7 lead, they might just be happy to take this thing on into the tunnel. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. 
And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. That good for 19 on the first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Here's Allen on first and ten. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. Four seconds left, and there's the timeout. In field goal range and a chance to tack on three before intermission. A final shot before half for Allen. This is caught. Touchdown, Bills. Khalil Shakir on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Bills will extend their lead on a final play of the half. Well, my education continues in this game. I've got to tell you because there's not an analyst in the world that would have said pass up the field goal here, go for it, and expect for it to be successful and it was. I mean, they're playing this one just like a video game. <laughs> Especially for the final play of the first half to have the guts to do that. But I guess, what do we say? The end will justify the means, right? No doubt about it. For you and me, we live, we learn. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And it's now 21-7. to So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone. Set. Stephon Diggs. That all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Bills come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. 
Prescott on first down. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. That's good for a Cowboys They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Another modest gain there on that one, and I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, and they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. And Prescott, his third interception. Tredavious.